Sir, what would you say to Jasmine's family? So this morning what we did is we approached the judge and we read probable cause to the court. Um, and as part of our probable cause, yes, we believe that the evidence is pointing to Eric Black as the driver of the getaway vehicle in the shooting of Jasmine. Mr. President. Give me one to Jasmine's family. Mr. Black, what would you say to Jasmine's family? When did you realize you had the wrong car, sir? Watch behind you. Watch behind you. Who was your passenger? You know the family. You agree with that? In Texas, the law says that um, whether you're the driver or you're the actual shooter, that everyone is held accountable the same. Um, and in this case, because Jasmine was only seven years old when she was shot and killed, the law in Texas is quite clear that this is capital murder, and that's how we've charged him. So it's our understanding that this was a case of mistaken identity, um, that they fired in the vehicle believing that um, it was in retaliation for an altercation that had happened earlier in the night, um, not realizing that, in fact, Jasmine and her family were in the vehicle. No seven-year-old deserves this. Um, no family deserves this, um, especially this time of year. Um, and so I am happy that we have someone in custody at this point and charged, and I look forward to continuing our investigation and seeking justice for Jasmine. It, it gives some answers, uh, again, and I'm sure some solace at some point, but we must understand that uh, the immediate concern of this family and Ms. Washington is my child is, has a funeral tomorrow at 12 o'clock.